This is a WordPress tutorial by Mark McLaren of McBuzz Communications called How to Make Text into a Link Using WordPress. Uh, this is something that's kind of fundamental and nice to know how to do. Um, and it's pretty straightforward as long as you've got the right uh, editing window set up to work in WordPress. And if you're not familiar with, with the two editing windows, I'll show you those. Um, you can see. Okay, I've got a, a post here already created in Business Blogging 101. I'll pump up the uh, text here a little bit so you can see. Here is um, some text that's it's not a link right now, but I want to make it into a link. Okay, and so I'm going to go into the dashboard. I'm going to go to Manage since this post has already been created. And I'm going to click on Edit. Here's the post I want to edit. Click on Edit. And you see I have two underneath post here. Uh, here's my here's the title of the post. Um, and underneath the post, I've got two options in terms of editing: uh, a visual window and a code window. Okay. If you only see this code window with buttons that look like this, uh, you need to make a change in your settings and refer to the earlier tutorial in this series that, that talks about how to use the easy text editing window. Okay. So, here's the visual text editing window. Here's the text I want to make into a link. I'm going to highlight that. And there's a button here to the right of the text alignment buttons. Looks like a chain link. Okay, if I click on that, I get a dialog box that comes, pops up. Um, and it's got three fields for me to fill in. The first one is link URL, and that would be the web address. Okay, so I'm typing in here www.buzz.com. The second, now you can copy and paste into this if you want. If I go off to a different page, like if I go back to here and I um, highlight this text, try. Okay, if I highlight any text and I do a command C, I can come back to this URL window either of these windows. Okay, and I'll show you. Hopefully this is going to work. Paste. Okay, you can't see it because it's so small. I just did a command V and popped using WordPress in there, which I had copied from somewhere else. That's very useful if you've got a long URL that you, you know, wouldn't want to type in a million years, but you can do copy and paste. So anyway, going back to this, I'm just going to select this out of the menu. Uh, and then the next field here is called target. And this is um, to determine whether a new window opens when somebody clicks on the link or the page that uh, that link is to opens in the same browser window. So those are your options. Open link in same window or open link in new window. And I usually, if the um, link is going to take somebody off of my website, I'd like it to open in a new browser window. Okay, you, That's no rule uh, as far as that goes, but that's probably the best way to go. Um, and then in the title field, put something that's very descriptive about this link. Okay, This is, this is actually quite important for two reasons. Um, the first is that search engines will read this. Okay. And so for McBuzz, since um, what I do is web marketing and business blogging and um, Google AdWords, things like that, uh, I'm going to type in web marketing, business blogging, okay, just so you can see. You can put more uh, text in there than that, but put something descriptive. And then the second reason that that's important, I'll show you in just a second, but uh, that's going to pop up when somebody rolls over the link. Okay, I clicked on insert to finish that process and now you can see that the text has turned blue and it's underlined uh, and that is now a link. Now if I wanted to edit that, if I thought, oh, you know, that was the wrong URL, highlight the same text exactly, go back to the insert link button, 
pop that up, you can see that the information I put in here before, you may not be able to see it, but because it's small, um, the information I put in before is still here, and I can edit that, and I can say, okay, you know, maybe I have a different URL I want to put in there. That's how I would do that. I can cancel or update the information. Okay. Um, the, the third thing you can do here is say you want to remove that link altogether. The button to the right of the chain link is a broken chain link or unlink. And if you click on that, which I'm not going to do, but if you click on that, it will remove the, the link from the text. Okay. So now I'm going to go here. I'm going to click on save. Go back out, see my post, refresh. There's the post, and there is the link. Okay. So if I roll over it, you can't see it. Maybe you can just barely see the little yellow box that's popping up, but that is a, you know, called the, um, that's the text that, that appears if you roll over, and it says web marketing business blogging. So if somebody, a uh, human visitor to your site, rolls over that link, they'll see from that text what that's about. If I click on that, okay, I've got Firefox here open and tab browsing, so it's going to take me to a new tab rather than open an entirely new window, but it is a new window in the sense that um, back here is the page that we started with and it, if I click on it again it'll open a new tab or a new window to go to that site. Okay, So that's making a text link using WordPress.